So uh, bear with us, Leighton has prepared the driver. I'm gonna go and get it and stick it uh, in the location. I'm really sorry if this is a really harsh light, it's blinding me in my eye. Oh, we'll see. Guys, welcome back to another video on the YouTube channel. So we are here today back at Caterham. And for those of you who have requested it on Instagram, we're looking at these, I mean, excuse the flicker, but we're looking at these down lights, which have been wired a bit weird and wonderful. And we're gonna find out how and why and sort of get them, hopefully we can get them rectified here with rewiring this circuit uh, and just to see what's going on. So. We've got Leighton with us today. Yo yo. Come to help out. Uh, when I was last here, let's see if we can replicate it. So, very dimly lit. And as I pulled this down, oh, he says, but he can't get it down. Right, bear with me one second. There we go, right. So, they are a 3 watt, 700 milliamp warm white fitting from Mr. Resistor. Bronze finished, and let's have a look at the connections. Huh, voila. So, here we go. Now, I was explaining to Leighton earlier on how a lighting system is wired in series, not lighting system, how a lighting load is wired in series from the driver or parallel. Now, this weirdly doesn't seem to do either of those methods so we're not quite sure what's going on um if those two blues were joined together and were the negative then i could say oh, yeah okay they're series and they're coming in to here from the positive going to the light back out the brown is the negative to the next light and those blues are the negative that would be crimped all the way through and brought back but that's clearly not the case so we've got to try and work out what's going on here they're not doing it today but Last time when I was here and I was fiddling with this, they were all flickering. So there's 11 of them in total, that's 33 watts. And they're currently being driven off an 18 watt driver. So I'm not sure if they have wired them in series, like in a couple of banks and then paralleled them up. So they're effectively wired in series, but they're splitting the, the load. Um, so they can run on a lower wattage driver. I'm not too sure, but we're going to find out. So we're going to drop the rest of these lights and um, yeah, see what's going on. Catch you in a sec. Tell you what, it's got really dark really quick. Um, I mean, by the looks of things, that just looks like they've paralleled it, but for whatever reason, they've alternated the colors. Um, so which means was it a 350 milliamp trial? I can't remember. I don't know what they've done. Or will that mean that they're all sharing 750 milliamps? 11 of them. So 700 divided by 11. Probably was, is, is what it is. But what I'm going to do later is dropping these out. Uh, I'm going to go behind with... Uh, I'm going to disconnect this cable here test that the first leg goes back to the board uh, not board driver location um test that the second leg goes to there and then what i'll probably do is i've got some two core flex uh, i'll tie it on and start pulling new legs to each light um then we'll get them connected in series replace there's two lights that aren't working uh, so we'll replace those we'll go and put the 50 watt driver uh, in the driver location uh, and turn it on and job should should be a good one only issue that we have is they to get it to sit up snug in that hole they've wrapped these in tape so we've got no choice but to do the same with the new lights that we put in um normally lights that we would spec from the beginning i don't know if these have them or they're available but you get a plastic sleeve that you would then mount into the timber. Yeah, these, let's get them out. Excuse me there. These have a sleeve in them there. So I'll unwrap that, but you can clearly see there, there's a sleeve. So these, this light would sit in the sleeve. 
So you'd fix that sleeve into the timber and then that light would slide in and hold in nice and neat. I guess they couldn't think of a way to fix that sleeve into the timber. So they just thought, yeah, let's just tape it up and squeeze it in. Hey ho, different strokes for different folks, eh? Struggling though. Yeah, it's been pretty tight in bed. <laughs> cool. Struggle face, got it. Yeah, mate. Well, what is it like? You tell me. <laughs> What's this one like in comparison to the rest? So all of those go in the same colours, and then they've alternated the colours from that light onwards. Yeah. So what we were saying down there, where they had a uh, a brown and a blue uh, cable in each terminal, here they've almost wired them obviously as uh, parallel. But then that means that the positive uh, conductor on this end over on that end you know is going into the negative as your negative conductor so it's no no real continuity here so as you can see that's like obvious parallel wiring and here it's sort of like a mixed mixed parallel so my only um oh, nice little light here my only conclusion is that someone has wired these um not really knowing what they're doing um I tell you what, for speed, it might be worth just making off the connections as they should be in these. Take the blues out, where you go them through, and then connecting the lights as they should be, change the driver, change those two lights and bang them on. If they're all happy days, then for now we'll leave them because it's getting dark, and on next visit, I'll pull through new cables and terminate them correctly. Okay, yeah? Wait. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Uh, drop on a little time lapse. Let's get this sorted out, and uh, yeah, catch you when it's all up and running. Right, so I've started to make off, um, you know when you've got a unilight and that happens, it's bad news, right? Let me go and find another torch, one minute. <laughs> flashy, flashy, flashy. What does everyone think of the blue Philips use spike lights? They're kind of changing, I mean, it's, the blue's not me, but it can work. Um, we've just been instructed to come and redo um all of this area so you can see the condition of these boxes in this installation is quite poor sorry let me change my torch it got dark so quickly and i know it's poor give me two seconds i'll be back right we're back we're back with the big guns <laughs> So yeah, like I said, we've just been instructed to redo uh, all of the lighting on the back section. So here, really quite a poor install. It's hard to tell here, but I can show you where it starts to get real juicy. So up here, you can just see, I mean, look, there's one of the speakers, bless it. Sitting down there, we've got a hell of a load of Copex. We've got, you know, incorrectly sized glands and yeah, it's just an absolute mess. You know what I mean? These guys must have been watching a bit of Mr. Bundy because they love a bit of the Copex. But basically, these lights are no longer doing anything and you can't see the light effect. Now the hedges have grown up. The hedges used to be a bit lower down. So what we're actually going to do is take all of those Philips Hue lamps and put them on the other side in the deck in recessed. And I'm also going to pull the speakers over that side as well because at the moment the speakers are just firing into the mud and they're doing nothing for anyone. Shout out to the big sexy van. It's looking a bit sorry for itself with its broken arch trim. But yeah, let me show you what I was talking about with these lights. So Layton's 
cracking on with it right here in the dark. I'll give you a, I'll give you a ring later, I'll let you know. Let's turn up the power. Are you with you, Liam? Yeah. Right. Ben. So, ben what we had here, as you can see, we've now separated and we've got the incoming positive into the, the brown of the light and the outgoing negative into the other brown, which will then go on to this light. So I think, let me turn this back down. I think whoever installed them was halfway there. So they had the, in the, the, the ones that were crossed over where they had the blues in with the browns, they were halfway right. The browns are in the correct location, except for one. Um, and the blues just needed to be separated and uh, way go through or connected through. And I think when they've taken instruction, they've heard, you know, to cross them over or whatever their interpretation was, that's what they've done. They got to a certain point and someone said, no, you put the blues together and that's why they then sort of connected them up as if they were in parallel. So we've just quickly terminated them. I've taken all the blues out uh, and way go them through and connected through the positive cables Layton's onto these ones here. I've got another two to do on the other side of the glass link. Then we're going to swap over the driver and get them powered up. If they're all working, happy days. Um, and we know that we have got to the bottom of that issue. And we can come back when it's not so dark and get the issue sorted out. Um, so yeah. That won't fit up. We're going to have to take off the... Okay, cool. So this is what I was saying. There is... Where's that sleeve? Unless we do it properly. <laughs> right, there's the sleeve. And that should have been recessed and fixed into the timber. And then the lights have their own clips and then they would hold and slot into that sleeve. So they've taken off those and just fixed them, made them fatter with tape and wedged them up there. So, but we'll get to the bottom of it and uh, yeah, we'll let you know the outcome very shortly. Right, so we've finished temporarily switching them over. I mean, even the last point, which is a simple blue to blue, brown to brown, they got wrong. So, do you know what? I'm very surprised that they worked. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, but right, we're just gonna go and put the driver in now um, and then energize the circuit and we should have some light. So uh, bear with us, Leighton has prepared the driver. Gonna go and get it and stick it uh, in the location. I'm really sorry if this is a really harsh light. It's blinding me in my eye. Oh, oopsie. Um, but yeah, let's get that connected up and we'll see what's what. Right, this is the driver that we're replacing. Yeah. And you can see it's a 700 milliamp, 18 watt driver, six to 26 volt. And we're now replacing it with a nice one from LED United, 700 milliamps, 35 watts. So this should power all 11 fittings um, at the three watts they need. So we'll get this swapped over and then we'll pop back outside and see the results. So we've got Leighton there is just adding some tape to one of the new lights that we put in. He's clipped off the grip. Give it a good push. I'll give it a quick bang with your fist, mate. Oh, the palm bits. The Yeah, that would do. Yeah, yeah. Happy days. Power by. Unilight, of course. Right, I'll tell you what. Where's my phone? Let's get this ready. Ready? <laughs> Boom. Now that, let's turn off this light. That is what we're talking about. That's how these lights should have been from the very, very beginning. I'm very, very happy. I said to the client that these lights should be shining right down onto the floor and as they are. Very, very, very good outcome. These Philips Hues are still changing. Let's show you those lights around the side. That Leighton has smashed out today. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, here we go. Finally, after a couple of site visits, every LED working as it should. Very, very nice outcome. So yeah, I'm just gonna show client what we've done. So that's pretty much it from us today. Leighton, give him the peace out, deuces, and we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.